you know, just be careful. If you ask me, they look nothing alike. All right, so it's day two of uh, following the season for morel hunting. Day one didn't bring anything up. I still think it's kind of early, but uh, as you can see here, we've got ourselves a false morel. Girometris something. That's all I can tell you. Look at that. Isn't that cool? It's the first false morel I've ever found. And now that I've found one, I have to say that how the hell do you confuse these two? <laughs> Well, I guess some people do, and some people do eat these, and don't, because uh, even though they won't kill you right away, they do bring in the toxins from whatever's in the ground, and uh, if you eat this, your body does not know how to digest these toxins, so they will stay with you, and the more you eat, the longer you eat them, the more likeliness you are to die later, unknowingly of ingesting a false morel. So just don't eat them, admire them, give them a little touchy touch. Now I'm watching my fingers off, but uh, isn't that cool? It's my very first false morel. But that's a good sign because I'm out here doing any kind of mushroom hunting. So, right, awesome. so I'm still out here on the trail, not too much further down from where I found that false morel. Is a wolf spider. It is a wolf spider, but that's not what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you these gorgeous turkey tails. This may be last year's here. Well, they might be. No, they're fresh this year. Look at that. Fresh this year. Got some brand new freshies coming out. Some freshies that ended up decaying, which is unusual, but we don't ever see turkey tails in this state, really. So, but, uh, let's make sure they're real turkey tails. We're going to lift up. And as you can see, there's pores. So these are definitely real turkey tails and real medicinal. Now, False turkey tails, they're not poisonous, not gonna hurt you. They're basically like eating a piece of bark. It's not gonna give you any benefit. You may get some earthly nutrients, but overall, not medically beneficial. But uh, these here turkey tails, they are. And uh, no scientist, but uh, they do help with a lot of ailments and stuff. They're a good thing to add to your diet as in teas. They're not chewable, they're not edible. They're just uh, more of a tea. We got some more freshies coming up over here. Really nice. This big old log here. Well, that's a good turkey log, I'd say. Coming down this little creek pathway. And I come across. Do you see it? It's another false morel. Tiny one. Little bitty one. Still don't know how they're confused. I get the color, not really. And I get the texture, not really. But uh, yeah, another little false morel. So be careful, they are out. Morels are not yet. All right, so here's another false morel and I just wanna make one more disclaimer about, I know it's before morel season, I know we're all excited about morel season and we get out here and the first thing that we see, maybe this is our first year, second year out, we're not too familiar. We can get excited and be like, that's got to be a morel. And then you pick it up and, you know, even if you do find some morels and with this false morel and you toss this in there and then it breaks up into little pieces because it gets mashed on under the other ones and then you end up cooking it, you know, and eating it. So I would always just, just leave it there. Just leave it there. It's just a mushroom. No need to pull it out and dispose of it properly. It's a mushroom. It knows what it's doing out here. So, you know, just be careful. If you ask me, they look nothing alike, so just be careful, know what you're looking for, and uh, have fun, but be careful. Here we are, a few more false morels. They're out. Just haven't spotted any morels yet. Alright, so I've come across enough of these false morels that I'm going to make the decision to pop one open. get a better identification on it. Can you see it? There we go. Alright. Just the base oh well. And cut it real deep. Alright, so I brought it pretty up pretty far up with the mycelium here. All right. 
right, so pretty wide base. Interesting. So let's do what we're wanting to do here. Let's cut down the middle of it. What do we have? This is my first one opening. Solid. Look at that. Well, that's pretty cool. So that's the inside of a false morel. You see it's solid, so I guess all that stuff's some toxins right there. Some gross, maybe some mercury and stuff, but it's pretty gross. All right, cool, another false morel. Here's number seven or eight on the false morels. In just a couple hours being out here. But uh, I guess that's what I'm strictly hunting today, not picking. So now that I'm out here strictly doing some false morel hunting, not for consumption, I come across some Devil's Urn freshies right here. Look at that. That's cool. Perfect. Yep. So there's always different, all kinds of different mushrooms out here. And these are Devil's Urns. Don't they look dangerous? I don't think they're edible, so... Look at that. That's pretty cool. Here's another early springtime mushroom. The wood ear. I've been finding this one for a couple weeks now. This is the wood ear, the Auricularia auricula. And uh, it's pretty much found year round. Even in the wintertime, you can come out and might be able to find some freshies. But uh, another cool mushroom for the uh, spring. Here we have a last year's giant puffball. See, it's still pretty moist. Right on. So the treat with these uh, false morels here is that one, two, one's not big, and three. And let's see if there's any more out here. That's an oak tree we have there. There's three together. That's the first time I found any together. Nope. We're gonna keep an eye out though. That's what we're right, doing. So we're finding a bunch of false morels out here. And another one. So I would say that's definitely at least 10. I found 11. We got 12. Nine. One, two, three, three, four, five. Yeah. They're there. Fifteen, sixteen. There's a bunch of little four. ones. Right back, right foot. Yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch out here, so you gotta just be careful because they are out. So what we have here is a reishi mushroom. These are highly medicinal. One of the most sought after mushrooms out there. a little I'll have to double check but I'm pretty sure it's a reishi mushroom looks a little old but you know what we're gonna take it home and find out because it's my second reishi find all right that's cool all right so here's the last one I'm gonna record two more false morales two little ones so that definitely puts the number up over 20 so everybody just beware and don't be too eager to find morels and think that you got the right one because uh they're kind of easy to spot, and they can really confuse you and excite you, so be careful. Wow, look at these clouds. Ooh, it's getting thick through here. Oh, calling for tornadoes all around here. I keep getting notices on my phone. So, uh, maybe we'll catch one on camera. I'll be prepared. Female 
Mario Balfour. Hmm. Look at all those mushrooms. I could have just picked them here. Hmm. Well, we got a little spot. Don't imagine anybody. Oh, hey, what's this? Oh, I'm BT.